Let's check in on the beleaguered state of Victoria with the Shadow Police Minister, David Southwick. Good to talk to you again, David. I want to ask you first off about this uh, op-ed piece in the Herald Sun by Adam uh, Sumriarek. Of course, he was the he was the uh, Labor minister who was dumped in Victoria because of uh, branch stacking and other allegations. But he has said that uh, within government, Andrews made the decision to use private security guards. It's not a matter of conjecture. He said why he chose to make such a risky decision is a matter of much speculation. He's laying the blame for choosing private security guard at Quarantine Squarely with the Premier. Now, he's got an axe to grime, a grind against the Premier, of course, but does this ring true and, uh, and how does that play into the, the findings that are, are yet to be delivered from the Hotel Quarantine Inquiry? Yeah, look, Chris, uh, Adam makes a, a fair point and ultimately, regardless, the buck stops with the Premier. And, you know, we've seen, and I must give you credit, because back in July, Chris, when we had the hotel, the announcement of the hotel quarantine inquiry, um, you had asked me on your program that, you know, isn't this just a big waste of money? Um, at that stage, it was earmarked for a $3 million cost to the taxpayer. We've now heard that uh, the, there's been an additional request for another $2.8 million. So it's close to $6 million for an inquiry that has given us collective amnesia no one's taken responsibility. But as Adam quite rightly points out, uh, the Premier would have had to have known what was going on. Um, and the Premier ultimately makes these decisions. There was the Premier's office, as we've said, that actually um, directed the police commissioner in terms of um, suggesting the private security guards would be used. So if the Premier's office own office knew this, um, and if certainly uh, uh, we've got a situation where other ministers knew this, then clearly Daniel Andrews knew this as well. And Daniel Andrews just needs to come clean and apologise and really take responsibility for the mess that we're in. Yeah, we've learned nothing from the inquiry. We're back at where we start, and that is who's going to take responsibility for what was clearly a mistake and what was clearly uh, the rejection of advice from and offers from Canberra. Uh, Sammy Rec also goes on to say that the government there under Daniel Andrews is very tightly controlled very centralised, that nothing happens without the Premier knowing it. And I've had that same sort of advice from other people in the Labor Party in Victoria. So it does, it does ring true. But we've had these revelations in recent days about more infections at hotel quarantine and more private staffers being involved. Who on earth is in quarantine in Victoria now that uh, international flights haven't come in there for months? Well, we've got some 245 people that have been in a hotel quarantine program. Uh, only a handful of those have come in from through flights indirectly into Melbourne. Uh, and the rest of them are locals that haven't been able to quarantine uh, at home and they've, they've been managed through a hotel quarantine program. But here is the kicker, Chris. And if this Premier can't learn a first time, then he's had three goes at this and clearly now needs to take responsibility. So initially, we had private security guards manage this. In July the 2nd, the Premier announced that we would have, uh, we would have correction staff and we would also have uh, airline staff that would be trained to manage security, hotel security going forward. Now, these correction staff have been paid $2,000 a week to sit home and do nothing, because as you rightly point out, point out, we haven't had a big program. But we now find out that at the Novotel, we haven't used the correction staff that have been sitting at home being paid $2,000 a week to do nothing. But we've gone back to using private security guards engaged through Spotless Group to actually manage the security program. And this was revealed through a whistleblower yesterday. And since that revelation, uh, we've had those security guards being stood down and Victoria Police finally coming in and managing a program that should have been managed by Victoria Police in the first place. This is the biggest policy failure, certainly in Victoria's history, and I'd go so far in saying in Australia's history, because we've had now 800 deaths, 800 lives being lost under Daniel Andrews' leadership, 780 of them since the second wave due to the hotel quarantine failure, and Daniel Andrews has blood on his hands and ultimately must take full responsibility for this mess. I think it's just extraordinary, those revelations about the Novotel. And, of course, the uh, Hotel Quarantine Inquiry has finished, so it won't be covered by that. It's going to have to be resolved well, in the Court of well, Public Chris, Opinion. 
actually, what's happened is since that uh, that, that hoteling the um, the hotel program's been in place, we've had nine security guards also test positive, and we've now been told that their cases will be added to the list of the um, inquiry. Oh, good, so good. We are just we are out of time. Look at that as well. We are out of time, David. But thank you for yep. that. So it will be added to the Pleasure. inquiry. The report's not yet been written. Thanks very much, David Southwick Pleasure. there, who's the shadow police minister in Victoria there with the Liberal Party. So that is fascinating news, and it'll all go into that inquiry. We await it.